Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Now, we hope it never happens to you, but just in case it does, we're going to show you how to repair a cracked radiator, so the plastic part of the radiator, as it happened to us. And these repairs usually um, happen in the middle of nowhere, so it's going to show you a few methods of at least making it to the next town or repairing it for like a bit of a longer drive to make it to the next city until you can get your new part in. Remember, this is only for temporary repair. Um, we don't recommend driving on this very far. Um, we did, but... We did, actually, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be temporary. So we're driving up the mountain today, and all of a sudden the low coolant sign came on, which uh, is our worst nightmare because it's happened before. And that's when we fixed this bit down there, the yeah. T-piece. So if you have this problem and it's just a hose, you can pretty much just wrap it with duct tape and make it to the next mechanic or to the next spot where you can order a new hose. Um, we just found out we have an even bigger problem. Um, the radiator was actually leaking right here. There's a big crack on this side. So we've now put some glue, this is some um, maximum construction adhesive glue, high purpose, bonds to pretty much everything. Um, so we're gonna hope that that will hold uh, our coolant until we can make it back to town because we're at the top of a mountain right now in the middle of nowhere. Exactly, in the middle of nowhere. This is always when it happens in the middle of nowhere. So be prepared, take some <laughs> stuff with you kind of stuff where silicon always helps you out. So this is the crack in the radiator. It's actually right here along this inner edge right here. It's about from here to here. When the water, when there's a fluid coming out, you see it pretty well, but I've now drained the radiator fluid. So taking it all out to make sure that there's no water or fluid behind this when we're welding it. To start off, we're gonna grab some mineral turpentine, put some on our paper towel here. And we're gonna use this paper towel to wipe down the area just to make sure we get it nice and clean. Now we're going to use a normal blow dryer just to dry and heat the area that we're going to plastic weld together. So, just turn this on. Start heating it up. Now that everything is dry and heated up a bit, which also makes sure that you don't have any water left in that crack or radiator fluid, um, you can see the crack better. It goes from about there to about there. And now that it's preheated, it should be a bit softer to work with, which will make it easier to solder. Now, while soldering, I'm going to take material. I'm going to melt this material in here first, and I'm going to take material from this fin. It's just a fin. It's not that important, and we're going to replace this radiator anyway. We just want to be able to drive around a bit more. So I'm just going to take some material off of this and just pretty much push it into that crack. So make sure that we get this whole thing sealed. So this is what the weld looks like after we've uh, soldered the material from this fin onto here and pushed it into the crack a bit. So first we put, um, we, we melted up the crack and then pushed material from there into the crack. 
Now, because this is obviously not going to be structurally as sound as when it was new, we're going to put fiberglass on top of all of this area to try and keep it, to give it some more structural strength. So we're just sanding the area to make sure the epoxy can bond to the new surface. Before you put on the fiberglass, wipe the area down with some turps or some, some solvent again. Just to get the dirt off. And then when you put the fiberglass on, you want to put a layer onto the la onto the, the material before you actually put the mat on it. So you want to get a good layer of epoxy in there. And on the walls, just to make sure that it sticks to all of this stuff. And I'll actually wet it down nicely. Get it up. Fiberglass has to be clear pretty much to make sure that you've got all enough epoxy in it. And then we'll put one more layer on the top. So we have now gone six rounds around the block. Each round is about a kilometer um, and we've only seen a slight like drop come out of right, right there. Um, but it's just a small little drip and this is only going to be temporary until we get our new radiator from Germany. So this is hopefully going to get us to the next city. So we have finally put in the new radiator. Uh, the old one, we just had to fill up a, with a bunch of water every like 100, 200 kilometers. Just a little bit, usually just from minimum to maximum, which is like a liter maybe. Uh, put the new radiator in and actually checked how, how far we went and it was almost 4,000 kilometers. We only had to redo the whole repair once <laughs> because we went up a, a mountain with the car. We really hope this information helped you. If you liked this video, feel free to give us a like, subscribe and follow us on Instagram at jp underscore adventures 19. Stay tuned for more videos!